Gary the Mortgage Guy, your sales disruptor. I'm going to talk about getting unfriended. What I mean by that is you're going to have a friends list and you will notice that your friends list will sometimes go down, right? It's not a big deal, okay? The way I look at it, my Facebook is my personal CRM. If I have people in my CRM and people are unfriending, that means they are unsubscribing and 99% of the chance they weren't your customer anyways. They weren't going to buy. So there's no reason to be upset about it. In fact, you should be happy because that just gave you another spot to add a buyer. Okay. So why would this happen? Being unfriended. Well, maybe you're posting too much. Maybe you don't. they don't want to hear about your business. Maybe there's too much personality. Maybe uh, you're too right wing. Is that you only want to talk to your audience that's going to buy if you're if you're talking to an audience that's not gonna buy why are you talking there's no point you're wasting your breath okay so you want to develop an audience you want to develop a following of people who potentially can buy from you and 99% of the chance that people who are gonna buy from you are because they like you right so it's okay to be yourself it's okay to promote yourself promote your ideals you know you can have philosophical views, religious views, uh, political views, whatever, put it out there. You're going to attract the people that like it and you're going to uh, get the people who don't like it to leave. And those people are not going to buy from me anyway, so why even care or bother or give two fucks about it, right? So again, being unfriended is actually a good thing. So be yourself and you will get rid of the people who won't buy and leave you room to add people who will, right? This is literally the